Mike Tirico suggested maybe an asterisk by the win by the Lions last night. They win the season opener for the first time since 2018 when they beat the Colts. Uh, and, uh, oh, actually, you know, they went 0-4-1 from uh, 2019 through 2022. The Chiefs starting out 0-1 for the first time since 2014. Which is... Twenty fourteen, the last time the Chiefs missed the playoffs when they lost their season opener. Uh overreaction. We more all in on the Lions or we have more question marks with the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs still without Travis Kelsey and Chris Jones. They'll be fine. Uh are they gonna be formidable? Should be. It's one game. And I think we were waiting to see if the Lions were up to the challenge. The Lion that's a game the Lions would not win last year. Uh, although late in the season, they were wonderful. If you go back to November 1st of last year, the only teams that had a better regular season record than the Lions are the Niners and the Bengals. The Lions are 9-2 and two since last November. The Niners are 9-0. and oh, The Bengals are 8-0. Oh. By the way, uh, the new highest paid player in the NFL is Joe Burrow, as uh, that news broke last night. Chris Jones still on the outside looking in. And probably looking at that Nick Bosa contract saying, uh, can you give me some scraps here, Kansas City? All right, 877-3DP-SHOW. Email address dp at danpatrick.com. Twitter handle at DP Show, And uh, operator Tyler standing by. Good morning if you're watching on Peacock. Thank you. Good morning. Hi. And our radio affiliates around the country. Patrick Mahomes said the loss is actually going to be good for some of the younger players. It'll be good for the young guys to know that we're not going to just uh, kind of walk in and win the game. You're going to have to play. You're going to play good football. We're going to play every team's best shot. Uh, I've, I've preached it to them all, all preseason, but they know now. Um, and we're going, we're going to go to Jacksonville next week, and that's going to be a good football team. So hopefully guys learn from it, get better, and, uh, we, and, and this one loss isn't turning into two. That'll be an interesting matchup next week against Jacksonville because they're not your dad's Jacksonville Jaguars. They are good. Formidable. Andy Reid talked about, uh, even though they didn't have Travis Kelsey, no excuses. It just, um, it just wasn't, it wasn't feeling right. So I wasn't going to put him out there with that. And he was honest with me. Uh, you know, we talked. And so it just not enough time there. How big a factor do you think that was in the offense? Yeah. yeah. And I wouldn't, uh, no excuses at all. I mean, we, we've got guys that can play. We we're right there to take care of business. Yeah, I don't know if it's Detroit beat Kansas City. Kansas City did a pretty good job of beating Kansas City last night. Uh, Dan Campbell, the Lions head coach, on what did he learn about his team last night? I didn't learn anything. I got verification on what I already knew. And this is a resilient team. Uh, it already was a resilient team, and we added pieces to that resilient team. So um, we're built to handle some, some stuff, and... Uh, and we did that today against a very good opponent. Absolutely. Take a victory lap. Okay, you weren't fully assembled. Oh, okay, there's an asterisk by this. Did anybody say that the Eagles win over the Niners in the NFC title game last year deserved an asterisk? Oh, I didn't think so. They were down to Christian McCaffrey playing quarterback. You play who's in front of you. Injuries happen. And you had a holdout and an injury. You're playing at home, and Detroit is a good team. They play well. They know what their strengths and weaknesses are. And you saw that last night. They're going to run the football. You don't have Chris Jones. You don't have a playmaker with Travis Kelsey in there. And all of a sudden, Patrick Mahomes, he can be the greatest quarterback of all time one day. But you got to have weapons. And he didn't have it. Kadarius Toney dropping the ball uh, a few times. And, uh, you know, it could it have uh, changed? Yes, absolutely. But you had a pick six, and yes, I did mention yesterday that uh, Patrick Mahomes has never thrown an interception on opening day, opening night. And, of course, he threw an interception and a pick six, to which Todd pointed out to me, text me, uh, you jinxed him. I go, no, my job is to just bring out facts. That's all, Todd. I wasn't trying to jinx Patrick Mahomes. Yes, he. He's not the only person. I, I actually got <laughs> messages uh, from people saying, well, 
DP's jinx is alive and well. <laughs> Sorry about that, Kansas City. Yeah. yeah. People took notice, Dan. Yeah, they did. They, they did. did. Yeah. I Just curious. That's all. My job is to be curious. What's the poll question we're going to go with today, Seton O'Connor? By the way, uh, Tony Gonzalez, the Hall of Famer, will join us, former Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, tight end Rex Ryan will stop by. And Chris Fowler from the Mothership will join us as well. What do we have, Seton? Well, we're putting up there, uh, last night we learned more about the Chiefs or the Lions. Okay. It's a good question. I think we learned more about the Lions last night. Go on the road. You, they're going to unveil their championship banner. I wanted to see that offensive. They have a really good offensive line. And yet, you know, you kind of look at the team and you go, I, I don't know, are they that good? But they, it feels like it's a great team. Uh, maybe not great talent that stands out where you go, oh, my God, you got to keep an eye on that guy. But Jameer Gibbs has the home run threat. Hutchinson is a really good defensive lineman. Uh, Jared Goff is coming off a very good year. We probably, you know, look at him as a Kirk Cousins kind of quarterback, but just don't make mistakes. That's it. And you got a, you know, a head coach that they truly want to play for, that they believe in. And you go on the road. This is a game they would have lost last year. Uh, so I, I learned more about the Lions last night. Kansas City without Chris Jones, Travis Kelsey, all right, I'm waiting to see if some of these younger players are able to step up. They didn't. Do I expect them to be one of the best teams? I, I'm sure Vegas DraftKings still has them as the odds-on favorite as the team to beat. Started the season, the Lions were around plus 2,200 to win the Super Bowl. Now plus 1,700. Those are the eighth best odds. They're right behind the Jets at plus 1,600. So... They're going to be a formidable team, certainly in that division, and they did what they needed to do last night. There's no asterisk attached to this. They won. They won. That's bottom line. What else do we have, Seton O'Connor? Todd's actually got a couple of fun ones, oh. too. Maybe a little overreaction. Oh, okay. Poll question. From the overreactor himself. Which mock headline is more of an overreaction? Lions, new kings of NFL jungle? Yep, Chiefs kingdom has finally collapsed. Hmm. Um, I don't think the Chiefs' kingdom has collapsed. Maybe. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, which statement is least true? The Chiefs are hopelessly average without Travis Kelsey. Patrick Mahomes is overdue for a bad season, and here it comes. The Lions just proved worthy of being NFC North champs and beyond. Dan Campbell's just as good a coach as Andy Reid. Special guest Chris Jones at the stadium was secretly rooting against Kansas City. Which statement is the least true of those five? I, I couldn't even keep track of all of that. Which if I'm not a fan of the Chiefs or Lions, I'm thrilled Detroit beat KC. <laughs> or I'm disappointed Patrick Mahomes' receivers did not step up in key situations. Yeah, Paulie. I know Chris Jones is a great player. He's one of my favorite players in the league. But I'll bet you he and his agent had a nice smirk that the team lost last night. No with, doubt. With him there. It, it was clear, you know, their defense didn't play awful. They got some good backups that fill in for them, but they're not Chris Jones. And then they gave up a touchdown run right up the middle where Chris Jones would have been. And Chris Jones, he's a great player. He's even greater in the fourth quarter. And uh, But give credit to the Lions doing what they needed to do. Um, we thought it was going to be a close game. The fact that the NFL put Detroit in there, they thought it was going to be a good game. And Kansas City... Certainly helped out with some mistakes there. Didn't look good at all. Uh, I'm still baffled that they had a tackle who wasn't even on, on the line of scrimmage. And nobody called that. And Terry McCauley, who's the rules official, is saying, this is embarrassing. Jawan Taylor was backed up. You know, he was a couple of steps off the line of scrimmage because he knew he needed help against Hutch, uh, Hutchinson. And they allowed it. And he even moved sometimes. And they didn't call that either. Like, I, I don't know how the head of officials for the NFL doesn't call the head of officials at that game at halftime and say, guys, what are you doing? And, I mean, we're getting killed here. And they didn't call that. Yes, Pauline. Yeah, Jawan Taylor, if you look at the rule, and Terry McCauley said it, the tackles and uh, guards can be back from the center, but, like, their helmets – have to line up with like the hips of the center. This guy was clearly behind him, like a body length behind him, and it was going on the whole game. 
And, you know, they talked about it. People on social media were going crazy because that, that's an illegal formation penalty, probably 35 of them. He was also jumping off sides, like false starting. Probably they about seven false starts because he's doing that Lane Johnson thing from the Eagles yeah. where he, he, guess, he gets the snap count and is simultaneous. He was clearly ahead of it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the NFL was doing with that. I don't know if you're Dan Campbell, can you complain? Did he complain? I don't know. But we'll talk to Rex Ryan about that uh, coming up a little bit later on.